Lindsey Graham talking about the Ukraine war, about the lithium ion and all that, all the all the mineral deposits that the Ukraine is sitting on. Play Lindsey Graham, uh, one of our dumbest senators, uh, saying the quiet part out loud. We don't care about the Ukrainian people. We never have. It is a wealthy country, and we do not want Russia and China getting those mineral deposits. And of course, we have Lindsey Graham saying that out loud. We could have avoided this bloodshed. We could have figured out some compromise in every war. There is a compromise, and it is a, usually a land deal. Someone gets something, someone else gets something. No one's thrilled about it. But Lindsey Graham starts talking about the Ukraine war, and he starts talking about what a wealthy country the Ukraine is and how it would be crazy for us to abandon the Ukraine so that Russia could share those mineral deposits and uh, all the other things with uh, China. Here's Lindsey Graham. Them. They're sitting on 10 to $12 trillion of critical minerals in, in Ukraine. They could be the richest country in all of Europe. I don't want to give that money and those assets to Putin to share with China. If we help Ukraine now, they can become the best business partner we ever dreamed of. That 10 to $12 trillion of critical mineral assets could be yeah. used by Ukraine and the West, not given to Putin and China. This is a very big deal how Ukraine ends. Mm -hmm. Let's help them win a war we can't afford to lose. Let's find a solution to this war. But they're sitting on a gold mine to give Putin 10 or 12 trillion dollars of critical minerals that yep. he will share with uh, China is ridiculous. Well, as Lindsey Grant confirming there, it is about the people. The great people of the Ukraine. That's who it's about. So it's always been about Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham, Confirming uh, my worst suspicions that the United States was there to help the Ukrainian people. Amazing. Two years into this, by the way, Lindsey Graham comes out and goes, well, they're rich. That's why we're there. Because a casual observer might say, well, there's like civil wars all over the world. There's horrible humanitarian crises all over the world. Some of them we are funding at the very moment. And we seem only interested in this one. We seem to have a micro focus on this one conflict. We seem pretty hell bent on supporting the Ukraine against Russia at all costs, no matter what. And we don't want any peace deal made and we don't want any resolution. And I wonder why, when we are very content to let people get slaughtered in every corner of the world, a lot of them with our weapons. And then Lindsey Graham comes out two years in and goes, yeah, 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 they're rich. That, that, that's why we're doing it. They're rich. They have money. And either Russia and China get the money or we get the money. Who do you want to get the money? I like it because Lindsey Graham, you got to realize, he's an old reptile and he's been in the game long enough where the scales show and his eyes do the lizard thing. Like, it's almost time to ditch the skin suit and go back to the center of the earth. So he's just, he's in his fuck it mode. Lindsey Graham's in his boomer cruise fuck it mode. He is just saying, there's people in Washington going, Lindsey, what are you doing, you closeted freak? But he is out there basically saying, hey, hey, it's about the money. What are you, stupid? And then everybody's like, Lindsay, no, 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 no. It's about human rights. It's about lesbian basketball players. It's about uh, trans athletes. It's about uh, Russia is not nice. It's about, come on, we're, we got to do all those other things. Lindsay, it's not about any of that. Shh, it's not about any of that. It's not about the money. It's about the Ukrainian people. It's about self-determination. Come on, shut up, shut up. But then Lindsay comes out and he goes, fuck it. I'm an old reptile. I don't have the fucking time. I'm about to drop this skin suit off at the cleaners for the last time and go right to the center of the earth where I'll reign forever in the, in the pits of fire. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what I want to say. And he says it like in a sassy gay Southern way. Well, they got all that money and why, well, why shouldn't we have that money? You remind me of Todd Chrisley that remember that guy, him and his wife went to jail for embezzlement. They were neighbors with the Kardashians. And Lindsey Graham talks like that guy. 
well, they got all that money in Ukraine. Why wouldn't I have that money? Are you stupid or something? We need that money. He goes share with Russia and China. I love pussy and I love money. My name is Lindsey Graham, and I'll tell you right now, they got all that fucking money over there. They're si- they could be one of the richest people ever. And they could be our best friend. You ever had a rich best friend? You ever go to the mall with your rich best friend? And sometimes they buy jeans, and they buy you a pair too. And you just want to suck that friend's cock. But you can't because you love pussy and your wife. But <laughs> instead of that... You get all this money. I just want all this money. I'm about to take this skin suit off, go live in the the pits of fire. And before I do that, I'm going to say what I feel. I'm going to say what I feel. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to lie no more. This has been about money. I don't know what, what, we don't care about the Ukraine. I don't give a shit. Ain't nobody give a shit about the Ukraine, but they are rich. They got a big old house, and we go swim in their pool. So we got to pretend to care about them, but we don't. 